Well, I knew from the first time that I met Tom Hanks, who produced the uh, miniseries, that it was going to be done right because I could tell from his understanding of what I had written and from the other films that he had made or had been a performer in, that he really cares about American history and that he would do it right. I was then asked to come to uh, meet with Kirk Ellis, the screenwriter, and we began blocking things out, uh, talking about scenes, things that could be perhaps left out, things that absolutely had to be included. And from that point on, I was part of the process uh, through the entire production. And I never once felt that they weren't sincerely interested in my point of view, uh, my objections, my uh, enthusiasm for what they were doing. I didn't uh, have my way with all decisions, nor did I expect to. Uh, a movie is a different vehicle, a different medium from a book, and they're not the same. What the author of a book really um, hopes and prays for is that the people doing it will interpret the book, the material, the characters, in the right way. And that's happened here. I was asked by Tom Hanks again to go to the, to the back lot, the sets, the whole production facility that was set up outside of Richmond, Virginia, to give a talk to all the people who were working on the film. Uh, not just actors, but people involved with scripts and props and costumes, the whole crew. And my message to them was, you won't, you're only going to have one chance to do this story. It probably won't be done again um, in the same way ever. And you have a chance to have more of an effect on how Americans feel, how, what they know, what they understand, but how they feel about that founding time than has ever been done before. Because the power of this medium, the power of, of film and of great acting and of magnificent cinematography is so infinitely beyond almost any other medium that we have. That, and, and the numbers of people who will see it, that it could, it could transform our national respect and understanding for where we began, how we began, and what are we all about? What do we believe? What is the bedrock faith that we call American? Because this is where it started, and these are the people that articulated it. And um, I felt all along that everybody working on that production really cared about it. And I certainly found that both Laura and Paul uh, had done the reading, had thought about it, had put themselves into those other lives in a way that to me is, is uh, genius.